Welcome to OMG Celebrity News, your quick stop for all the hottest celebrity gossip. I'm Casey. And I'm Melody, and you better get into it, honey, because we gonna get shade. <laughs> and the shade we're talking about is the shade Bette Midler is throwing at the whistle-tone princess Ariana Grande. Here's what Bette Midler had to say about Grande's voice. It's terrible. It's always surprising to see someone like Ariana Grande with that silly high voice, a very wholesome voice slithering around on a couch looking so ridiculous. Ariana responded with, Bette was always a feminist who stood for women being able to do whatever the F they wanted without judgment. Not sure where that bet went, but I want the sexy mermaid back. Always a fan no matter what, my love. To which Midler responded with, about my spreed on Ariana Grande, all I can say is, spoken like a reformed old whore, she does have a beautiful voice on a couch or off. Phew, talk about drama. My God. Man. Oh, wow. That, that's wow, some sassy that reminds talk. reminds me of Shanae O'Connor. Kim Dahl here, and I'm going to be talking about Kim Kardashian's new paper magazine cover. So, Sean, what do you think of Kim Kardashian's bud? Pretty much the same thing I thought when she first got famous. She's just doing the same thing she did that got her foot in the door in the first place. She's just selling her body. So, Albert, what do you think of Kim Kardashian's bud? To be honest, uh, it kind of looked like a giant uh, glazed honey bun or something, but whatever floats your boat. That's a, that's a good metaphor for it. Yeah. All right, so what do you think of Kim Kardashian's butt? <laughs> <laughs> um, she put on weight, I guess. I mean, I walked by her once in a restaurant, and um, yeah, she looked like she put on about good 10 15 pounds at least since then. Hmm, interesting. So, what do you think of Kim Kardashian's butt? You know what, I think everybody's making too big of a deal out of this. I mean, it, it's Kim Kardashian's ass. She wants to sh take pictures of it. It's nobody's business but her and Kanye's. Thank you. Uh, Bert, what do you think of Kim Kardashian's butt? It was very large and it was nice, I guess. Cool, thank you. That's it? Yeah. Oh. I'm signing off, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that story, Casey. You never know what to do with the Kardashians. Have up with their sleeves, huh? The next thing you know, Rob is going to come out with his own sock line. Oh, wait, he already did. Ha! <laughs> Awkward. Oh, she she went there. I, I went you there. You definitely oh, did. Oh, yeah. oh man. Yeah. All right, anyways, in other news, Taylor Swift made history by releasing three back-to-back -back albums, each selling over a million copies in the first week. She's also the first woman to ever knock herself out of the top spot in the Billboard Hot 100 with her new single, Blank Space. Yes, Taylor, you better work. Not only is Taylor killing it in the sales department, but her album has also been praised by critics. All right, we're going to go to the commercial break. Is your garden the laughing stock of your neighborhood? Well, there's finally something that can be done about it. So, you should do what I did and buy Too Good To Be True miracle Grow. This all natural but totally actually man-made formula will more than triple the size of any fruit or vegetable. See? Warning, no such product exists. These are simply two different kinds of tomatoes. If you so wish to purchase this product, you are a moron. Back. Now we wouldn't end the show without a little news about our favorite mother monster, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was spotted in Paris, France, wearing what seemed to look like a sparkly giant sea urchin in celebration of her last concert of her beloved art pop album. Now, I don't know how she was supposed to sit in that thing because it looked torturous. Torturously fabulous! Anyways, Casey, how do you feel about Lady Gaga's sea urchin outfit? I feel wonderful. Just I know. wonderful. It's now beautiful. we're going to go to the weather. weather. All right, so this week we have 73 on Monday, 81 on Tuesday, 82 on Wednesday, <coughs> 78 Thursday. Friday it's going to cool down. It's going to be 76. Saturday it's going to be 78, 68. And Sunday it's going to be 70. Looks like we're going to get some sprinkles throughout the week. But 
overall it's going to be pretty nice. Now we're going to head back to the girls in the studio. Take it away, Melody and Casey. Don't you work at Sprinkles? <laughs> I do work at Sprinkles. Oh, yeah. So anyways, I would like to thank you. It's been a really great experience. Thank you, Melody. See y'all next week. Bye. And stay sassy.